Hello everyone. Uh, today, Mr. Uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar uh, test so that uh, he is actually uh, more experienced, 12 years gait experience. Uh, he is working in uh, NET Calicut. He used to take in our institute coaching institute uh, for uh, manufacturing industry and production topics. So today we are going to discuss with the uh, Mr. Dr. Vijay Kumar. Hello sir. Hello. Sir. So, uh, there are students right now preparing for mechanical. So for them, uh, this video may be helpful. Since you are from mechanical background, uh, evergreen department, I hope. Yes, and uh, uh, mechanical, there are a lot of subjects are there. So what is the weightage? So subject wise weightage in uh, mechanical subjects, sir. Okay. As for concern, uh, technical and non-technical, we have to divide, sir. And here for technical, if you take that production having a more weightage, that is 20 to 25 marks will come. That is including industrial engineering. And apart from that, you focused on uh, thermal sciences, that is uh, heat transfer, thermodynamics and field mechanics. So these subjects you concentrate. And later stage, go for a design and engineering mechanics, strength of materials and, uh, you know, these kind of thing, theory of machines, uh, design of machining elements. This we will concentrate more. These Okay, so for the students to qualify these examinations, so what subjects can able to leave the uh, uh, by preparation? Yeah, so actually, uh, students has to focus non technical subjects that is mathematics, aptitude, and English. In that, uh, so most of the questions are coming from basic level. That is why you focus on that particular mathematics and aptitude, and then you carry the production and industrial, and so little carry the thermal subjects, so that you will definitely will get qualified. So. So studying all subjects and making yourself complicated and select the more weighted subjects and do well. What are the books and uh, Indian level standard author books? Because so why before solving previous question paper, what are the books can be the four by the students and maybe website? Mm. Uh, As for the technical concern, uh, uh, production engineering uh, and industrial engineering, you can prefer, you know, uh, P. N. Rao volume 1 and P. N. Rao volume 2 and P. C. Sharma, Kalpak Jain and Rajput. So these are the textbooks will give you much more example questions and well explained mechanisms. So there you will get more knowledge and well confident. And do remember those people who are very uh, regular to the classes and very strong in basics, they can easily crack the gate rank. Can you describe any subtitle in which your uh, manufacturing industrial production title in which they used to ask repeated uh, questions in upcoming years also? Yeah. So from the last to 10 to 15 years question paper, if you see that, so manufacturing having the weightage and there you will get the very gunshot straight answer questions. So then uh, let me explain you what are the questions and what are the topics. The questions are continuously repeated. Uh, see, as for concern, uh, manufacturing, casting, building and metal forming process. In these three chapters, we have expecting the question, two mass question. If the student have fortunate enough, then in these chapters itself, one two mass question, one one mark question may comes. So now here casting, in that casting, you know, uh, pouring time, solidification time, riser design and aspiration effect. If you concentrate these four topics, then the question will come definitely or lying in these four topics, you will get four mass, uh, two mass question. And as for concern welding, if you consider melting efficiency and resistance welding, uh, melting efficiency, arc welding design. So if you practice these questions, they may you may get two mass question in the welding. And as for concern metal forming process, here we have four metal forming process that is rolling, drawing and forging, extrusion and sheet metal operation. If you observe that last previous question papers, the question, you know, oscillate from these topics. Definitely there is a gunshot question from the metal forming process. So if it is a question from rolling and next year it may be uh, forging, extrusion or drawing or sheet metal operation. So that is the reason why if you practice these chapters, then you will get uh, four to eight, uh, six to eight marks in your bucket. Okay. And uh, next, if you come for metal cutting. So if you see the metal cutting, there will be a no question gate paper exists without metal cutting. Uh, metal cutting directly there is come two mass question, and that is cutting forces calculation, cutting power calculation. You know uh, these uh, cutting velocity calculations. The simple problems are there. If you focused and practice lost. Uh, five to ten years question papers so that you will find every question paper contains metal cutting paper and apart from that machine tools so machine tool operations so in that machine tool operations two mass question may come that is from either lathe operations or shaper drilling and milling and you know grinding if you practice these topics so that you will be able to get the two mass question and another two another topic is that uh, advanced machining process in that cnc and unconventional machining process in that also two mass question will come definitely from cnc one question one unconventional machining corruption one question so if you practice this problem sorry these kind of questions from the previous year and test paper what we provided so that you will be able to solve the question and uh, another one topic that is metrology and material science metrology one question definitely uh, most of the chances 80 percent chances will come from first chapter itself that is limits fits tolerances there you will get the question 
for two marks and material science if you take concern the material science then uh, there is a continuous question from phase diagrams iron carbon equilibrium diagram and triple d diagram so if you go for iron carbon equilibrium diagram you will get one question for solving the based on the liver rule and make sure that compositions in the steels and if you study properly that iron carbon equilibrium diagram and triple d diagram and heat treatment process definitely there will be a two mass question that is why so production is a very important subject to get qualified and easy also uh, easy also so okay, compared to other subjects, other subjects. compared to other subjects and you back up that mathematics and aptitude production and industrial and any, any other two subjects like you know thermal sciences the fluid mechanics heat transfer and then strength of materials basic engineering mechanics if you back up these subjects it will be very very easy to qualify gate rank okay. gate it's right so if the students go, uh, go, going for the exams hmm. so what kind of mistakes or silly mistakes they used to do regularly uh, to get into the uh, negative marking or maybe getting into low score in the gate examinations so most of the students are, uh, though they prepared very well because of the silly silly small mistakes they have done in the exam because of small you know so very accurate uh, speed so whenever they used to read the question they will get excited and in speed they will do that but uh, instead of that do one thing it's a very very important read the question once and twice so at least you read the question two times then you write the given data and then try to uh, find out that what need to uh, solve that problem and apart from that because of the speed and also though you know the subject and the concept it is possible to do the small calculator error mistakes so for avoiding these kind of things you just try to take more test papers and try to solve that so that you will be able to avoid your corrections and errors in the exam so that is that is why whenever you read the question which is known for, uh, known from your side don't get excited so focus on the question how to solve very easy okay so whether uh, taking more of more, more number of practice tests practice test uh, will be helpful helpful for, for them so that uh, see uh, uh, so what is that now uh, whenever you taking the uh, test paper so it feels that you are doing the uh, gate exam so that is why so you will be able to reduce your errors that cannot be repeated in the main examination okay so so students uh, you can uh, your input may be will yeah. helpful for our students also so those are viewing this videos yes, and uh, mainly any final uh, tips for uh, preparing for this gate examinations uh, upcoming gate examinations tips so that uh, whatever the topics you have studied don't allow the question to escape from you from the topics in that manner you are supposed to prepare so very strong in baby very strong in basics practice in more questions and negative mark so most of the students think that uh, you know so there are 65 questions so you targeted for 65 questions then you will do not mistakes that is why which over the subjects you are selecting so if the question come from there then you try to answer that questions see suppose say that one of uh, a students uh, targeted for 50 questions he solved that 30 questions or else 35 questions in that 20 only correct right it is not like that so if you select the 30 questions if you uh, you know 30 questions if you perfectly do that your rank more uh, improved than the guy who attempted 40 questions that is accuracy is very important how many you attempted how many you got corrected that is very important so make sure that less less mistakes in your questions okay so uh, what kind of cut off we can expect in upcoming examinations and so that based on that they can uh, go for it yeah so if you observe the last uh, previous papers the cut off is going to be as late so most of the cases if it is a question paper is moderate it is 20 to 25 and this time we are expecting that for general category 25 to 30 marks required for getting the qualified okay so admissions to iit and it is uh, how it is procedure once you qualify we will the students will get the seats in iit and it is definitely sir why because uh, nowadays uh, people are very less in taking admissions in nit iit through gate so what i'm suggesting that uh, see uh, if you are qualified and getting seat in nit or iit for pc program your your resume will be boosted 10 times to your uh, before gate so why i'm telling that the in, uh, interview after completion of your graduation or post graduation from the nit or iit once the interviewer look at your resume you just have a sort of impression oh this guy is coming from nit or iit why i'm telling this so the facilities the teaching methodology and the way your learning procedure will be changed in the nit and iit because you are experiencing the practical experience with a more number of labs well equipped facilities in the iit that is why your knowledge will be boosted up that will be helpful for your getting the good career in your that's i'm sure that one thing i'm telling you if you qualify in a gate in a proper way so that you will get definitely nit iit because uh, nowadays little less uh, number of students are the number of students are approaching and that is why 
see if this type in this kind of situation if you take the advantages so that you will be able to in nit iit so after two years definitely you will get placed and your resume will be boost of 10 to uh, 15 times rather uh, than before the gate so you are working at nit calicut so my question is uh, what kind of uh, placement is going to be uh, nit calicut and how they get placed and what kind of packages uh, the students belongs to mechanical they used to get yeah, that's a good question, sir. Actually, so most of the students uh, thinking that sir, doing M Tech is a wasting of two years. And here, see, if you are in B Tech and you are getting a little less package, so if you enter into NIT and you finish your uh, post graduation with a good CGPA, then the placements minimum twelve lakhs. So less than ten lakhs packages are never accepted by the NIT recruitment team or NIT recruitment team. So so minimum is ten lakhs to twelve lakhs. So from there. So you are maybe uh, uh, mainly that to the core companies. Uh, core companies, more core companies will come. You will get placed very easily. So rather than starting career with be taken a small way, and if you join in NIT, get placed in there, then your career will be in a high level, a professional, high professional level. So students, I hope uh, the SAR inputs may be helpful for your uh, get preparation also. So concentrate on those topics and don't do much silly mistakes. And here uh, we are doing gate coaching at Gandhiburam uh, Koyamathur and uh, the description we used to give uh, mobile number and uh, address. So those are interested for joining, uh, those are preparing for right now for gate exam for upcoming 2026-27. Uh, so you are always welcome. So try to come as early. So give an attempt in positive manner and uh, try to start early so that you will definitely will get uh, good chances to crack uh, gate examination. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.